It had been uh, gone into disrepair after um, passenger services had ceased in Tamora and it was really starting to crumble and it was at risk of being lost forever really. Oh, it's just beautiful and it's, it's amazing how far it's come. Well, it was built in 1890, well the line was open in 1892 um, the station and the line were both open in, in September of 1893. Well, it once was the central hub of, um, of Tamora. It employed lots and lots of people, uh, about 380 in its uh, heyday. This place here, Tamora, went 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so there's always something going, a lot, of, a lot of banging and crashing all through the night. People were just used to that, oh, that's the railway again, You'd, nobody worried about it. The silos were started in, in March of uh, 1918 and they were built as a consequence of the uh, mice and weevil plagues that we had here in, in the 1917 and through into the 1918 period. There was a need for some sort of food security as well. Parties is a flour mill. Um, it was started in the early 1900s. Buffhead's our railway dog. He turned up here on the platform in 1959, about the middle of 1959. He'd just catch a train, uh, as I said, um, depending on which way the train was facing as, as the, the way he would go for the day. He was even made a member of the, the RSL club. My affection for the place is for the history that, um, that was here um, over the years. Um, you can imagine if it was built from 1893 on, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of history here. We received a Heritage Activation Grant and the grant was for $53,500 to enable us to develop some interpretive panels and then placed on various stages throughout the walk that are going to tell the story of the rail yard. I think it's a great idea actually, the walk. Um, it, it allows people to read the history of how things came to be. So the benefits that I see of the project is that it provides both locals and visitors the opportunity to get a deeper understanding of what the railway precinct is all about. It's, it's not just about a train station, it's about the way the whole precinct worked together to support agriculture, but also support the town when it was first beginning. I mean, I think as you get older, you sort of treasure where you've come from. It sort of goes back to a time when life was so much simpler, I think. That's what it does for me. I think just, you know, more or less like stepping back in time is what, um, and it'd be just great to, to be here on one of those days. That's how I feel about the place here. Yeah.